Hi world, this is the second one of a set of uh, astrological videos I'm doing on the British Royal Family and I'm looking at the horoscope of Prince Charles, born on the 14th of November 1948 at 2114 in London, making him Scorpio with Taurus Moon and Leo rising. The similarities between his chart and the chart of both his mother and his father are stunning. His father's moon is at 22 degrees of Virgo. His mother's net, sorry, 22 degrees of Leo. His mother's Neptune is at 22 degrees of Leo and her Jupiter is at 22 degrees of Aquarius. Her Saturn and Midheaven is at 24 degrees of Scorpio. Charles's son is at 22 degrees of Scorpio. The Queen's son is at zero degrees of Taurus. Charles's moon is at zero degrees of Taurus. When you see Charles these days affectionately respond to mummy, not your majesty or my mother, but mummy, it is heartfelt. He's very close to his mother. Ever since I've been talking publicly and I broke my teeth giving lectures to the Women's Institute in the late 80s and early 90s and boy they're a tough audience I can tell you and at the time they were saying to me you know will Charles and Diana stay together etc etc and will the Queen outlast Victoria and in those days I was saying but the nature of Prince Charles's chart with the Sun conjunct Chiron is not that of an aspiring monarch to the throne. With a conjunction of Neptune and Venus together on the IC at the base of his chart in the fourth house, he wants nothing more than to be a, an organic farmer. I'm convinced of this. He has a lovely Mars in Sagittarius and a really strong Jupiter at the very end of Sagittarius as well in lovely aspect opposition to Uranus. And he is a fortunate man. But I do feel he is almost tied to his mother's apron strings. And I've never seen him as the type of king material that this country, Britain, needs. I also look at the upcoming transits to his horoscope. As we speak, Pluto is about to spend a year squaring his midheaven and his IC, suggesting straight away some type of forced transformation and change in areas around roots, home, family, as well as ambition and career. Uranus is on his midheaven this year and getting stronger as we get into October and November. Saturn is coming up to pass on Charles's son. And this is going to happen a couple of weeks before it passes on the Queen's Saturn and midheaven. With Charles, it happens in the middle 10 days of October, as with the Queen, it's the end of October and the start of November. This suggests to me that the challenges and the difficulties that I've suggested are coming up for the Queen and Prince Philip towards the end of October and early November are also going to be affecting strongly the horoscope of Prince Charles, and it is very much a family affair. Whether this is as a result of some type of personal family challenge, tragedy, trauma, or whether it is a result of the United Kingdom breaking up, it may well be that Charles becomes king. But I've always said that he won't be king, and as he gets closer, I'm beginning to have to change my mind and think, well, if he is going to be king, it'll be, oh, thanks, mum, and then six months later, there you go, boy. Something's coming up in the near future, within the next two months, that's going to radically change the fortunes of the older members of the British royal family. And I believe that both Prince Charles and the Queen, as well as the Prince of Edinburgh, are also all going to be directly affected. And I do expect these changes to be of the most radical type. So you heard it here first, not that I'm a fan of predicting difficulties. He, all of these people should be all right and Charles will, his humour, his Mars, he's 
It's not going to affect him. I suspect he may become king sooner than many people think, though. More on this one later. Catch you later. Bye.